Okay, uh, drink your garden. So I'm just gonna talk you through some of the fantastic herbal teas that you can grow in your own garden. Um, and whilst we're talking, I'm just gonna quickly make a cup of tea, which I'm gonna enjoy at the end of this. So this is lemon myrtle, um, Australian native, the most incredible aroma, but only use the fresh stuff. The dried stuff is just too, too dry, not enough essential oils. Okay, so we'll, we'll let that brew. So I'm gonna enjoy that at the end. Okay, so let's, let's start over here. So this is, if you wanna play the long game, this is a coffee plant and uh, it'll take a few years to, to grow up, but you, you actually get a, a nice little crop of, of red berries on there. And then the, seed, the, the, the seeds in the middle is your coffee bean. Um, but yeah, you won't be getting into doing a mass production of coffee, but it's, uh, you, can, you can get a, a few cups of coffee out of it. Uh, it's fun. The actual um, fruits themselves actually taste quite nice, quite sweet, but coffee flavored. Tea. So this is a this is a tea plant, and again you can grow it. It's a it's a type of camellia, um, and it's the little leaves. Better if you live up a up a tall mountain, but still I I um, I'm, I, I grow this, and I I've, I've made a few cups of tea with it. Um, so that's uh, that's fun. You you kind of uh, it's good to steam the leaves and make green tea with it. Um, but now let's get into the serious stuff. Um, so this is uh, Moroccan mint. Now Moroccan mint, you actually. Uh, it's, it's a lovely, uh, it's got its own unique aroma and flavor. And um, the way I prepare this is with, with actually normal black tea and some of this. And um, I do it a bit, you know, uh, Tunisian style with plenty of sugar as well. It's, uh, um, don't do it too often, but that's really nice. Um, my friend Catherine's told me that this is, this is mojito mint that's very, very, uh, good in cocktails this it's just got a particular flavor that um, um, so that's a, for a cool drink um, this is the surprise package this is a it's a scented geranium but this is a one that's got a really unique um, uh, Turkish delight smell that makes the most uh, fantastically aromatic thing you can also use it in the garden as a bit of a, uh, a bug um, defender um, uh, a bit like a, a citronella candle, but it's, it, make, it really does make a lovely tea. This is um, called Mexican tarragon. It's actually a, a type of marigold, so it has little yellow flowers at the end of the season. But it, it's got a lovely um, sweet uh, aniseed flavour. Uh, so three or four of these leaves chopped up and brewed will make a, um, a lovely sweet aniseed tea, sort of pea green thing. Um, you chop it down at the end of the season and it grows back each year. Um, then I've got some peppermint here. So if you've got a, if you've got a rumbly tummy, the, uh, the peppermint goes very well in, in terms of settling your tummy down. Um, and then this is a, a little bit of an odd one. Um, if you've got a sore throat, uh, there's a lot of uh, history behind sage and indeed thyme as well. In fact, thyme is the the oil from thyme is the active ingredient in Listerine, um, and they, they do have effects on, on bacteria and, and, uh, and viruses in the throat as well. So, uh, so when you've got a bit of a cold, that can be helpful. Um, I think it's time now for my favourite thing, which is the, this is the um, lemon myrtle. This is quite a big one. Um, you can grow this as a great for edible landscaping in your garden. You can, you can keep it as a low hedge, grow it into a small tree if you wanted to. I keep mine as mostly low, low hedges around my garden, um, but it's just the most unbelievably aromatic thing. And I'm gonna finish this off with making a lovely cup of tea. Yes, lemony fantasticness. There we go. 